So throughout my David Fincher series, we've talked about his amazing movies, his really good movies, his so-so movies, but there's always been the one title, what is the most overrated movie of a director's filmography? If I had to pick one, it's this one. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. This movie was released in 2011 and was directed by David Fincher. This movie is a remake of the Swedish version of Girl with Dragon Tattoo. It is Sweden. I hope to God it is. I should have looked it up. But anyways, I remember when this movie was rented from Blockbuster by my parents and they said, you cannot watch it. And that made me really sad because I loved Social Network. I wanted to see all of Fincher's movies and most of his movies were a no-no to me when I was little. So I was really sad as a kid. This movie stars Daniel Craig and Rooney Mara and is about a journalist who is aided by a young computer hacker in the search for a woman who has been missing for 40 years. I'm gonna get this out of the way. I actually do prefer this movie over the original Swedish version and the only reason why is because it's it's, it's David Fincher because that is the best movie in this movie. David Fincher's direction is just perfect. I mean, I've said that throughout the entire Fincher series, and it's still true. David Fincher does not make a bad movie. Like, he, he makes movies that might have the greatest story and acting and stuff like that can happen. But his personal business of sound, editing, camera work, just character little twicks, like, he is the king of that. David Fincher makes a beautiful looking movie. The snowy atmosphere mixed with this dread mystery happening, it just, it adds to the effect of a cold winter night. It is a perfect winter night mystery kind of thriller. The performances by both our main actors are very good, but the standout, of course, who was nominated for Best Actress is Rooney Mara. She is awesome in this movie. She is, she steals the entire movie, just no question. What she did, she got all these piercings for this movie and how she like went for her performance. She holds nothing, nothing back, especially with the rape scene. The rape scene, I give, she should have won the Oscar for that because that is brave of her to do that, especially the other actor who was doing of the business. I mean, I, I couldn't imagine being an actor on set that day. Even filming that just made me feel icky. Watching it made me feel icky. So Rooney Mara, for that scene in the entire movie, she holds nothing back. She's a well, well done actress. And in this movie, she shows off everything she can as an actress. She is so good in this movie. Now really, besides the performances and David Fincher's amazing direction, that's all I really like about this movie. Everything else, it's a two hour and 38 minute mystery leading to a kind of whodunit. And the whodunit aspect is so predictable. Like, I mean, it is blatant. It's, it's right there in your face. You're like, that person. That person did it. It is such a no shock value to me and it is just completely predictable in my opinion but besides like the predictability the movie just never really kept me interested yes the acting is very good and you will like the two main actors the two actors performances that work together is one of the best parts of the movie because they're so different from each other's characters that when they work together and they get they grow a relationship together it's the most interesting part the actual mystery to me like I said, it's predictable and it, it never kept me like intrigued and I've seen better thrillers done like this. I mean, look at Zodiac I just watched the other week and with Seven, I mean, he's got his own thrillers in his own filmography that are better than this movie and a lot of people say that the original is better and that is totally your opinion. I just personally like this movie more but I have seen the original trilogy and I do have to say they are really, really well done movies. It's kind of a shame that we're never going to see Fincher and these actors work together to complete the trilogy. I would actually like to see that be done one day if it ever happened, which it probably won't. But for this movie, it's fine. It's long. It's not my favorite Fincher movie. And I know a lot of people love this movie. So that's why, in my opinion, I'm going to take this title of this being the most overrated Fincher movie out of all of his movies. But it's still a well done movie. It's just kind of forgettable. And I'm gonna give The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo a B. So with that being said, 
that is the end of my David Fincher series. I actually have reviewed Gone Girl when it actually came out in theaters back in 2014. So with that, I am done with my David Fincher series. This has been very fun going down his road of movies and watching it leading up to Mank, which I am very excited for and I should be getting in the next week or sooner. I don't know really to tell you, but either way, I love you guys. You guys enjoyed this series and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye everyone.